Okay, hello and good morning. Let's talk about today's uh, bell work here. Um, here we go. Well, it says fill out the chart. So if you have two pluses, it's going to be two pluses. If it's a minus and a plus, it's going to be two minus. This is add. Anything else is subtract. Okay? All right, so let's take a look. We've got two pluses, so we're going to be adding. What you're going to do here is multiply 5 times 12. So 5 times 12 is going to give you 60. And then you start breaking this up. 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20. Let's see what else. 4 times something. Let's see what that is. That's probably my answer. I think it's 15. So 60 divided by 4 is 15. And that's going to actually give me my answer. I'm looking for something that's going to add to give me 19. And this will add up to 19. So th this is my answer. We're going to substitute this in place of this. So put 5n squared plus 4n plus 15n plus 12. So here's your 19 right here. All right, at this point, what you're going to do is group factor. So out of here, it looks like you can take out an n. So you're left with 5n plus 4. This one right here, you can take out a 3, I think. So put plus 3, and it should be 5n plus 4. This is now the same as that, which is what we want. One here, one here, you're going to take one out. And you're left with n plus 3. And if you want to check it, do FOIL. That's it. That's how you do it. Last one here is a looks like a long one. <clears throat> You're going to do 9 times 21. And both of these are pluses, so you're going to be adding. So 21 times 9 is going to give us 189. We're looking for something that's going to add to be that. So let's start breaking it up. 1 times 89 adds up to 190. We don't want that one. I don't think 2 works. Let's try 3. So 189 divided by 3 is going to give you 63. And that's it. You add that up, you get 66. So you're going to substitute this in place of this. So put 9k squared up front, put 21 in the back, and then right here put plus 3k, and then plus 63k, and then factor it out. So here it looks like they have a 3 in common and a k. So you're going to be left with 3K plus 1. Here, it's got to be 21 to get a 1 right here. So take out a 21, and that's going to be 3K plus 1. You have 1 here, 1 here. You're going to take 1 out. And we're almost done. So we're left with 3K plus 21. We're finished. Today's work is to finish that worksheet from yesterday. All right, if you didn't get one, they're up there on the folder. Also, you have homework due this weekend. And next week, you have a test on factoring or a practice test first. All right, let's move on. We're going to talk now about geometry. So let's see what's going on here with geometry. Let's finish up week three. All right, so here's geometry. Remember Florida Virtual School, Episode 2. So this is plus, and you want to substitute. You have eight faces. You're looking for the vertices. You have 12 edges plus 2. So you're going to get um, 8 plus V is equal to 14. You're going to subtract 8 from both sides, and whatever you get is your answer. It looks like 6. So there are 6 points however it looks. The area of a triangle is one-half base times height. Area of a circle, pi radius squared, even though pi's are not square. Circumference is pi times diameter. That's the distance around a circle. Write an equation of a circle. Well, the formula for circle, and you got to remember, it, remember this, is x minus h plus y minus k equals radius squared. So this is your h and your k. So it's going to be a double negative. 
So it's going to be x minus a negative 6, y minus a negative 15, and then the radius is going to be squared. So look what happens. This becomes a plus, this becomes a plus, and this cancels and you're left with 5. Remember opposite, opposite, square root, bam, you're done. All right, on a new sheet of paper, complete the square. All right, well, let's talk about completing the square. Remember, you got to get your x's here, your y's here, and your numbers over here. That's the format. So here's some x's. So we're going to have x squared plus 14x plus some number. And then your y's, it looks like plus y squared minus 12y plus some number. And we're going to take the 4 and move it over there. That becomes a negative 4. Okay, remember, if you cross that line, the sign changes. All right, so you do half of 14, which is 7, and square it, you get 49. So what you want to do, and I'm going to use a different color here, I'm going to add 49 to both sides, just like that. And then here I'm going to do half of 12 is 6, and 6 squared is 36. Half of 12 is 6. And then anyway, you're going to add 36 over here, and let's see what happens. This becomes a perfect square. This other one becomes a perfect square. And I don't know what's left there. So let's see if I can do it. I'm going to say 81, but I don't know. So 49 plus 36 equals minus 4 uh, is 81. Okay? Good. Now remember, um, this one's a plus. So it's going to be x plus 7. This one's a minus. So it's going to be x minus 6. So the center of the circle is going to be opposite, opposite, square root. So the opposite, the opposite, and the square root of 81 is 9. So the radius is 9. So how do you graph it? And you need to know all of this for the EOC. So you're going to go negative 7 up 6, wherever that is. And then you're going to go over 9, down 9, over here 9, up 9. And it's going to look something like that. All right, your work for today is to finish that worksheet from yesterday. When you do, uh, sit quietly and find something else to do. Also, you have homework due. Make sure you get that in. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think we're going to have a test next week on circles. Have a good day.